someone to save me. Hello and welcome to the next episode of the vlog. Yes, I have ventured the whole way down to the south of Ireland, down below at the furthest possible point. Some say Mizzen Head, but we've just came a small bit further over to a place called Tree Castle Head. You might know about it from the film. Young Offenders. Young Offenders, sorry, I couldn't get it. Oh yeah, do you see him? Do you see that guy? That's, go on. that's, oh Jesus, there you go. That's Darren J. Spoonley. He's a native of this county, County Cork. So yeah, look, we've come away for a night where, like I said, we're at Tree Castle Head. We're going to look to try and get a few things done. So time lapses are on my mind. Remember, I've been bitten by that bug ever since Michael Shanebloom has put this upon me. So thank you very, very much, Michael. Uh, even he's inspired Darren. Darren right. is actually even going to use a rhino slider, my uh, row of traveler, and see what he can get with that. So are you going to do good? I sure am. He sure is. He sure is. So I also forgot the base plate. My arm is killing me already. <laughs> I forgot the base plate for the Ronin SC. So I refuse to use the Osmo Pocket for now. I want just pure quality from this camera. So yeah. So we're going to shoot handheld vlogging for today. So plenty of IS for this camera. All right. So with that further ado, we're going to start exploring there and see what we can get. We're going to camp tonight, have a bit of food, have a bit of lols and uh, move on. All right, so let's get going. Hey, oh, the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in your car. Let me say who you are. We're on the way to, uh, like you said, you Castle, really Tree Castle Head. So we're walking up this kind of bit of a trail. It's a bit of a hike up. I think it may be about 15, 15 to 25 minute walk. I really don't know to be precise, but um, we're kind of heading in this kind of farmyard gate and up kind of a bit of a trail. So that well, shouldn't be too bad. I'm really excited now to see what's on offer because I stuck the drone up there and I'll show you this picture now because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a, a pan off from the drone. drone. I think it's got like, I don't know, 180 degrees view and it's got this singular island. It's just absolutely immense. So I'm gonna stick that up now for you guys to see and uh, we're gonna start making our tracks up through the trail. All right, let's go. So, we're still hiking on. I'd say we're about 20 minutes into the hike. Now we've been stopping and starting because of the vlogging and all that crack, but it's just like the time we went up to the Cumber Mountains. I'm leading the way, and then you spoon me somewhere down there. But uh, he's trucking on. He's got lactic acid in his ankles, he told me. His ankles? <laughs> I know, right? All right. But it's not easy climbing this boy. We'll just take a breath away, but in one or two different ways. I mean, look at the scenery. It's just sublime. Unbelievable. Ah! Okay, we've made it to Tree Castle Head. Now, is this one castle or is it tree? I've no idea. I've no idea about the history of the place, but look, when I get back to the camper van, I'm going to uh, do a bit of homework and see what's the story with this castle, who used to own it and all that mighty crack. But um, at the moment, the light is very flat. It's very boring. Uh, there's, it's just very muted. So there's no point in really kind of shooting the castle or the lake 
here with the DSLR, the mirrorless camera. So what I'm elected to do, what I want to do is, and the whole reason why I wanted to come to this spot was to fly the drone. So I want to get the Mavic Pro 2 up and uh, get some nice aerial footage with the one inch Hasselblad sensor. Uh, there's a few compositions that I've seen uh, from online that I would like to kind of get uh, into my portfolio because the headline, the shape of it is absolutely amazing. And like I said, from that previous shot earlier this morning with the pano, the big massive thing, that was really cool as well. But this shot that I am going to be taking, it's not going to be pano, it's just going to be your typical 4x6 crop and uh, it's going to be really, really nice stuff. Well, I hope it is. But like I said, the light isn't exactly the best at the moment, but look at it, what it is. I'm happy to be out. I had some good fun so far with Darren. So far, things could go bad. Who knows? And yeah. Taking in that sea breeze, man. It's just unbelievable. Love it. Love it. Okay, so we've got our first time lapse off to the races, and it's shooting at an incline of about 45 degrees. Uh, it's, the it's, it's the furthest I've pushed this Rhino Slider Evo to the limits on an incline wise. Uh, so, what it's going to do is going to start down low and reveal the castle as it comes up along this rock formation down here on the right hand side. So it should be quite nice, I hope it is. Now, the only problem is Darren decided to fly his drone and freaking birds were everywhere. And if you haven't seen in my, one of my latest episodes, like the one from Glendalough with all the ducks and birds and everything, they can ruin a time lapse. So yeah, thank you very much, Darren. I had to restart it all over again because you flew your freaking drone. Anyway. That aside, I think I need to get my own drone up and get that shot that I'm looking for. I just wanted to get this off the races and get it going and then worry about my own drone then from the headland shot. starting to get to me. I am so freaking starving, it's not even funny. But I have another time lapse going again. Hopefully this one will come off. I'm experimenting with this one just a bit because I haven't really, I've normally kind of went for that kind of one second exposure as much as I can on the time lapse. But now what I've done is I've pushed it out to a two second exposure and an interval of three and a half to four seconds. So the clouds should move a lot faster in this time lapse than I, I, my trademark would have been before that, where I like slow, fast moving clouds. Does that make sense? Probably not. But um, 
No, it's a lovely area. I found a lovely composition. I tried to take a photograph of it, but water is too, it's too much texture in the water. I'd love it to be just pure, crystal clear calm. And like, even if you look into the water, you might be able to see it here now. It is just, it's beautiful. It's, it's, um, it's such an amazing place to be. Like, I wonder what's in that lake. Like, you know, like, there is a castle here. So I wonder if there's like swords and dead bodies and, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I love this place. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a bit of wind there now. Ooh. So the wind hopefully will get a bit calmer and that'll enable us to get that crystal kind of glass effect on the water to take a really, really nice photograph. Like I said, I have a great composition set up here just for the time lapse, um, but I still can't take a decent photograph. Just, the light just isn't playing ball, you know? Well, my time here at Tree Castle Head has come to a close. I might not have gotten the exact light I was looking for, but boy did I have a great time exploring somewhere new. Now, I don't understand why places like this are not as popular as one would think, but in my view, I'm happy we had this place all to ourselves. My drone footage will definitely be part of my project called This Is Ireland. It's a project that is currently in the works that I'm doing. After the sun went down, Darren, Robert and I sat down to a small fire and drank a bottle or two. We laughed, we joked, we told stories till 2am and man was it fun. Sometimes these are the best times. You can take as many photos as you want, get awesome footage, get wicked time lapses, but the time spent with friends is what means most. They are the memories that will last forever in our minds. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. It would be awesome if you left a like, comment or even subscribed if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff. And I'll see you next week. Ayo! Hey